hello guys welcome back to the channel and i got request like i should make a explanation video for this lab so here it is and this lab is just recently updated so i will try to make this lab as simple as possible so first of all just log in with your credentials and activate the cloud shell now just simply click on continue okay now just wait for a couple of seconds meanwhile just simply scroll down and come on the download the code task okay now just copy this command okay let me just increase the text size for you okay now run the first command click on authorize scroll down and copy the second command and run then copy third command and run now we are on the task number one so just copy this first command and run scroll down no need to run this cat command just come on the deploy to app engine command copy that and paste now here please pay attention guys now it will ask like choose the region so that time choose the us central one region okay every time okay and for that just type 10 and hit enter now here it again asks like do you want to continue that kind of pop-up will come so that time we have to just press y like here just press capital y and hit enter so we have done with this task now just simply scroll down and copy this name carefully do not copy that full stop just copy that and in the search bar search for it okay like this open this thing new tab click on this enable api click on this go to identity and now click on this configure option from here choose internal and click on create now for the app name just simply scroll down copy this name paste over here click on this choose the student id and at last just copy this username and paste over here click on save and continue scroll down and click on save and continue again we are on the scope option now we are in the summary so just click on back to dashboard so we have done with this task okay we have done with all these things now just copy this disable api just copy that go back to your dashboard and now just wait for this command get executed properly and it's finally done so run the disable command so we had done with this command also now we had to just okay so it's disable now now just go back to your identity and refresh the page now click on this toggle and enable it like this now just simply scroll down and here what we have to do just first of all just copy your username okay just wait for a couple of seconds and it's done and here you can see status is okay so click on this checkbox and click on this add principle paste to your username which you copy and choose that now for the role just simply scroll down copy this role carefully and paste over here make sure of spacing okay and paste like this and click on save so we are done with this task also so if you just simply click on check my progress if you didn't get a score so no need to worry about that do not worry about this kind of error because lab take time to update a score on this task okay so if you just click on multiple times three to two times you will get a score as you can see now just simply come on the task number two for that just copy this command go back to your dashboard and run it now just copy this command and run it again asks like do you want to continue so that time press y and now just wait for to this command get executed after that what we have to do we have to just disable this thing or you can say turn this off and we have to just again deploy our app okay so now just wait for this command to get execute
so it's done now if you just simply scroll up and check the score for task number two you will get a score without any issue okay now what we have to do go back to your identity awareness proxy turn this off okay it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that okay so it's done okay now if you just simply scroll down and now copy this command we are on the task number three okay now just go back to your dashboard run this command so we have changed the directory now just copy this app deploy command like this press why do you want to continue okay so once you're done with that we will get a score for the last task also okay so that's the thing we have to do over here i'm i'm again saying please make sure that you have turned this off api id you must turn this off, uh, off for the last task okay so now just wait for to this command get executed and we will get a score on the last task also and it's finally done now if you just simply click on check my progress for last task you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day